So a lot of you might be looking at the 2020 iPad Pro and wondering, is this still a good buy? And my answer is no. As much as I love the 2020 iPad Pro, there are a few reasons why you should actually refrain from buying it, especially right now. So I thought I'd make a video going over some of the reasons why you shouldn't buy the 2020 iPad Pro in 2021. What's going on guys, it's just be here. Before I get into the video, I do wanna kindly remind you guys to hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be announcing the $25 Apple giveaway that I was running. It's a bit late, a lot of crazy things going on right now. So it did get delayed, but I'm gonna announce it at the end of this video. If you'd like to enter more giveaways, make sure you drop a comment below. And also you need to be subscribed to the channel to be able to win a giveaway. I'm gonna be doing another one, announcing it in two weeks, $25 Apple or Amazon gift card. So make sure that you subscribe. Okay, glad that's out of the way. Let's get into the video. If you're looking at the 2020 iPad Pro, which is honestly my favorite iPad release to date, you might want to hold back. And the first reason that I wanna go over is the display. The display on the 2020 iPad Pro is actually amazing. It looks great. I've raved about it in the past, but right now, it looks like you might wanna wait because Apple is rumored to release a 2021 iPad with mini LED on the 12 inch version. Now, of course, if you're going for the 11 inch version, it doesn't really make a difference. Apparently, Apple is going to stick to LED. But if you use the 12 inch version, you're gonna to wanna to wait out on that just because you're gonna want mini LED. And mini LED is better than the current display technology on the iPads because it offers more contrast, deeper blacks, the colors look richer and more punchier, and everything just looks great. So if you're a photographer, somebody that uses the iPad Pro for content creation, such as a digital artist, or somebody that just edits like, you know, 4K quality, or hell, if you just like watching a lot of movies in super high res quality, you're gonna want to wait on buying the 2020 iPad Pro and just get the 2021 when it comes out. So personally speaking, I definitely go for the one that is coming out in 2021 if it has the mini LED technology. It'll be the first time Apple has released this technology on any of their iOS devices. So I'm super excited to see what they're gonna offer with the 2021 iPad Pro. Next up is the design. Now, of course, Apple has not updated the design of the iPad Pro for so many years before finally updating it in 2018 and giving it the more squared design that we know now that is similar to the iPhone 12 and all the devices really going forward are probably gonna have this squared design look. It looks more modern and personally, I love it. But with the 2021 iPad Pro, they're gonna tweak it just a bit, just a tiny little bit. It's not really gonna be the same. A couple of things are rumored to change. So one, they're gonna make the device a little bit thicker. And that is because of the reason that I was just talking about the mini LED is gonna require the display of the iPad or the iPad in general to just be a little bit thicker to accommodate that mini LED display. Another thing that is rumored to happen with the 2021 iPad is the speaker system that's gonna be a bit changed. So apparently it's gonna have less speaker grills on the 2021 iPad Pro in comparison to the 2020 iPad Pro. And a lot of you might be thinking, why the hell would they reduce it? It's gonna sound terrible. But rest assured, it's Apple. They're probably going to find a way to make the audio sound a bit more crisp in comparison with the other ones, especially if they're reducing the speaker grill count. Think about it like this. Every time Apple has, you know, took something away, they've introduced something better. So while this is like a dramatic comparison, I'm feeling if they're reducing some of the speaker grill ports, then they're gonna make sure that the audio sounds a bit better. So there are less complaints about the new design. And one more thing that I didn't really like about the 2020 iPad Pro is the camera design. Now, of course, I know it's probably gonna be the same. However, with the new camera design, it's supposed to feature less of a camera bump, and that is good. Now, I do have one request for Apple. Please switch the camera at the front from the side 
to the top of the iPad. And I call it top, top because you can change the orientation, but you guys know what I mean. I need it to be at the top. So when I hold it, I'm doing conference calls. It doesn't look strange, like I'm not looking or paying attention to the person. I wanna make it look like I'm looking at the camera. So just one request, I'm hoping Apple does that. That's one of my predictions. I hope they do do that. And if they do, honestly, that might be worth the upgrade for me alone. Now, one of the other things that Apple is rumored to update, and I think they will update, I'm pretty sure they will, is the chip inside. Now, the A12Z is what comes on the 2020 iPad Pro. And if you're using that like I am, you know that, that is no slouch, it runs well, it can complete tasks super quick, especially faster than the A14. And a lot of people are gonna give me uh, flack for saying this, but I do think that when doing things that require a lot of productivity, the iPad Pro does perform better than the A14. With that said, I do think that Apple will upgrade it to the A14X. And of course, typical Apple fashion, it'll be something like 30% quicker, two times quicker. I don't really know, but I do know that Apple will update the new 2021 iPad Pro with a A14X chip or something like that. So what does that mean for you? If you're somebody right now that uses the 2020 iPad for completing tasks, such as 4K video editing, editing photos and Lightroom, really anything that'll task the chip, you're gonna wanna wait because the A14X is gonna come out really soon and it's definitely gonna be better than the 2020 iPad Pro. If you buy the 2020 iPad Pro now, you might get out spec with the 2021 iPad Pro a lot sooner than normal. And that leads me to my last point. The 2021 iPad Pro is rumored to come out in March, and that is about two and a half months away. So if you purchase the 2020 iPad Pro right now, as I mentioned, you're gonna get out spec, and that's honestly gonna suck. Definitely go ahead and wait it out, just wait, and buy a new 2021 iPad Pro. We're gonna notice more leaks coming out, more information coming out, so you can make a more informed decision instead of buying it now and then you find out that the killer feature that you always wanted is now gonna be released on the 2021 iPad Pro. And the moment everybody has been waiting for, the winner of the gift card will be announced. If you see your name, congratulations, contact me on the about page of my channel shoot me an email. If you don't contact me in 48 hours, then I'm gonna have to switch the winner to another person and that sucks for you. So if you're watching this and your name is there, that means that you won. Make sure you subscribe and you could win one of these gift cards from Apple. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Are you gonna wait for the 2021 iPad Pro? Or are you just gonna be crazy and go for the 2020 iPad Pro? Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you guys think Apple is gonna release with the new iPads. I'm all ears. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.